so what I wanted to do today was uh, take a break from the inn on the bridge and take care of some technical stuff. And I haven't quite decided like which technical thing I'm going to do, but there's a few things around that I want to uh, want to take care of just because I feel like they're things that I need to do in order to move forward with some of the videos I want to make, but they're not exactly the most uh, interesting YouTube videos to do or things I've done already. Like I need to build another villager breeder and I don't want to do that in a video because we've already gone over that quite a bit uh, in the other videos. So, Hey, Anna. And for some reason, my iMac just decided to sound like it's going to take off. It did this the last time I tried to stream too, and I'm not sure why. It's really odd. Such a loud noise, and it's never done that before. So, All right, so first thing we need to do is bail on this. I'm going to be... There's not enough here anymore to uh, warrant having all of this stuff uh, in here, and I don't remember exactly the order. I think I'm missing something here, too. Thought I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. I could have sworn I had 15 shulkers. I've not lost any. I don't think I've left them around anywhere. So, oh, I have. I know I know what the problem is. So get rid of these. Oh, there's one <laughs> for starters. Glad I didn't leave that there. Uh, and we're gonna take this down. And we're gonna take this. And we're gonna move them inside. I just wanna clean up this area a little bit. Um, this build is not finished, but I need to kind of take a break from it. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to leave, we're going to leave some stuff up here like so, so that we have it for when we want to build in here, but we don't necessarily need everything in here right this second. So that's that stuff out of the way. And I know you've heard this spiel before, but for anybody that's tuning in uh, that does not know what I'm doing, uh, my name is Joel Duggan, and this is the Citadel. It is a survival Let's Play server, uh, and myself and friends do geeky stuff in Minecraft. And I've been working on this wheat field and this inn on a bridge for weeks, because uh, I haven't had much time. <clears throat> Get rid of this, and this is where my other shulker boxes are. Boop. And get rid of this too. There. I think I might actually move. I think I can have enough room in my inventory to move this chest full of goodies inside the build as well. Yeah. Totally do. Boop. Let's just take this inside. Basically, the inside of this has a bunch of like interior design things that I want to do, and they're all involving banners and stuff, and I just I really don't feel like tackling that kind of nonsense today so we're going to put um bed in there the dyes are going to go in there and the wool nope not that cauldron all of these banner and dye related things are going to go in there and then bed belongs in here and then the shulker boxes will round out I think I had them this way yeah there we go now I feel like I'm back to normal so today uh, we're gonna do one if not two things uh, I want to uh, move some villagers and I was going to spruce that up, but I guess it looks okay. Nothing really wrong with that. Maybe just leave a torch just so that it's not a spawning platform. 
Uh, yeah, so I've set aside um, three villagers that I want to take over to my swamp base. So that's something that we can do. And the other thing I wanted to try and do is finish off the spider spawner farm thing. Uh, it's still working and it's got a storage unit, but unfortunately, whenever you need string or extra wool and, or a lot of wool, it's a kind of a long hike to get to um, the spider spawner storage. And I've just been in the mood to do something technical, something really straightforward. So creating a storage system a little bit closer to the meadows for everybody, especially because people maybe don't know that the spider spawner is even there. Uh, so I want to move things over and have it set up in um, the top of the mine shaft because the spider spawner is actually in the mine shaft. Um, oh, I need more. I need more food. Hey, Jake. Welcome. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to go up here and I'll show you where I want to build. Oh, there is a beacon here. Okay, good. I wasn't sure if I had a beacon down this end of the meadows. Um, so this part up here is this is like the very first thing we built in the meadows is, is the mine shaft that goes down. And there's a spider spawner and it's like over there by several hundred blocks. And what I want to do is convert this room, which was just a simple place to sleep when we first started, into storage for all of the um, the, wool, the wool and the string and the spider eyes, even though we don't need a lot of spider eyes after a couple chests, we're just gonna spit them out. Uh, and then any overflow, we're gonna send on to uh, the greenhouse, which has got, um, which is, I guess, right kind of underneath that wall. There's a greenhouse on the other side. Uh, and there's a, a subterranean water system that takes everything and it's only connected from like say that beacon south but i want to bring i want to bring some of the stuff over here and connect it up if i can so it involves changing and really the first thing we need to do is set up the storage system in here so if you've never seen me build a storage system then that's probably the first thing we're going to do i'm just going to go back to the barn and make sure that i have all the things that i need pretty sure I do with with my ender chest full of shulker boxes I should have everything but just in case there might be a couple things that I need to need to sort out um, we're also playing with the new 3.1 texture pack so that's why the grass paths look so dull is that there's there's been a change there and um, now these are still custom I still have some of my custom textures so the the, the hay bales are still custom um, let's see here uh do i have enough redstone in this box to do what i need hoppers comparators i'm definitely gonna need more hoppers so let's do i have i never use trap chests. can you turn trap chests into hoppers Let's find out. You cannot. Well, that sucks. Ever since they updated chests, I don't need the trap chests anymore. So, um, I guess we just have to make some chests. I do have some already crafted, so let's just try to make as many hoppers as this will let us. feel like 28 hoppers should get us most of the way there. I also feel like I'm going to need a little bit more iron in my inventory just for for fun. Oh, I don't have... Do I not have a lot of iron? Certainly, I must have iron blocks kicking around somewhere. That giant creeper is a prank that me and Alistair pulled on MacCast. Uh, I believe it was his birthday. Uh, and he is by far the person on the server that gets blown up uh, or blows up a build. Oh, yeah, I got lots of iron. Um, the most. He he is the creeper victim of choice, apparently. Do that, and we'll just bring the rest with us. Put this back in. Let's do this. There. 
I guess I should probably put those in the uh, black shulker. Jeez, oh, we're losing the sun already. That can go there. I don't need these in here. I'm trying to clear up a little bit of space. I need to go find more shulkers. These are the only ones I have. I've got some food, everything else. We're also going to have to go to the end and repair some stuff. I don't think I have enough um, pick power to get me through the rest of this. So we'll bring some blocks just so that we don't have to we start from scratch. There's going to be some more grass, yes. Um, what else would I need? Probably some stone bricks. Wow, I don't have a lot of stone bricks, do I? And definitely gonna need some stairs. I feel like I have a shulker box that's just full of stone stuff. Yeah, okay, we're good there. I don't think I'm gonna do anything too crazy with the design. Uh, how many bookshelves do you need to get a silk touch enchantment? I think you need all of them. I think 15. I think you need the max. Uh, what's the uptime command? Are you just looking at how long I've been streaming? It's been like 15 minutes at most. Put these away too. All right. And this can go up here. I think, I guess we should probably decorate it with spruce logs. That's probably the bare bones. And we'll grab some spruce stairs just for good measure. Actually, you know what? I already have some. I'm good. We're fine. And there is a bed over there, I think. Cool. Thanks for stopping by, Jake. I'm sure we'll see you again. So I have a little notebook where I've um, written down, or I guess sketched out the idea. Oh, sad day for you, friend. Where's... Jeez, there's more than one. Come on. I guess this is kind of a mob trap, isn't it? Hmm, interesting. So, uh, I don't think we're going to mess too much with like the entrance. I think we're just going to leave this the way that it is. Uh, this is going to have to get a little bit bigger. Get rid of this. And get rid of this and this. And all right, we already got light in here. So, my thought process here is that I don't want, I don't think we want to have the room get too much bigger. So I'm thinking we need three chests. And I don't think I'm going to do double chests. I think we're going to be okay if we just have regular chests. So we'll have like those guys there. Actually, let's just put some light up just so we can see what we're doing. Because we've got double chests uh, at the back that we can, um, or back at the greenhouse for the excess. That, and then we can have another set here. And this will just be for spider eyes. And then in the middle here, we can do like a crafting station and then like a wool block thing. So this, I'm gonna need to put crafting bench and I think I have somewhere I have more ender chests. There we go. Grab one of those. So we'll put you here like that. And then one more chest at the top here. So we're going to have to go a little bit high. Um, hmm. I guess, do I want, how high do I need this to be? 
We may not need three rows of chests. Maybe that's where we have the water streams and stuff. Hmm. All right, well, we can sort that out in a minute. But right now, we're going to dig in through the side here. I should maybe change that beacon. Am I in range of it? Oh, yeah, totally. All right, let's do that. I haven't played in a long time. I'm all over the map today, so we're going to be bouncing around, taking care of a lot of stuff. But let's change this beacon for now. We're not going to get it for long or for very far, but while we're here, we might as well get some haste too going on. Uh, is this silk touch? It is. Let's do this. I'm wondering if the fact that my iMac is making a lot of noise is because I'm streaming in 1080. Whoops. Trying it out for the first time. Um, mainly because I can make use of the videos later. We shall see. Uh, how far do I need to go here? So this room is going to get real ugly real fast. Why am I not? Oh, it's an efficiency four pick. So I guess it won't really matter. It speeds us up a little bit. Well, I guess, you know, for this stuff, I don't really need it to be crazy. So for the sorting system, we need one, two, three, four, five blocks. So let's do six for good measure. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I really don't think we're gonna need more string than like six or nine chests full. I don't think we're gonna need more than that. The, the temporary storage system at the string farm is already full anyway. Have you built a storage system like this before, Anna? I'm curious if anybody watching, if, if this is all old news. I'm sure people have seen this sort of sorting stuff before. And I think we'll go one more or maybe two more. Just for good measure and be able to walk around would be nice. Okay, so, uh, you know, before we start, I think I'm going to be that guy. And we're just going to turn this all into smooth stone. Because you can see between the chests, and that always bugs me. Oh, you don't have a storage system yet. Oh, great. So this will be this will be good for you then. I mean, we're only sorting two different items, so it's not going to be overly complicated. But I mean, the principle is still the same. And I'm going to be using water streams for everything. Uh, oh, I spy. Whoops, that there. Wow. Okay, that didn't take as long. Uh, so I want to be able to see the items come in. So we're going to have to raise the roof. That's a thing that's happening. Because the items are going to be coming up a water elevator on the side here. All right, one, two, three, four, five. So I want to maybe bring them up in the middle. So this is going to be, we'll say this right here. Let's put a log. So that's the water stream. And we'll probably put glass around it for fun. Make it look nice. Uh, so we'll get rid of all this. So much diorite, wow. Oh, not that.
I hear a skeleton somewhere. So if that's going to be our water stream, then this will have to go up like this and either here or above by one, it's going to have to start move. Oh, there's a friend. <laughs> I left the door open. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I live in my shulker boxes too. Um, I don't have a giant sorting system that sorts everything. Uh, I have like subsystems, like I have bulk storage and I've got farms, but I all the building blocks, I'm like you, I just live in my in my shulker boxes. It's so much easier. It's better to have everything with you, I find. So I guess we have to decide whether we want this to be three tall or not. I'm thinking it's probably going to be cooler if it's three tall because the water grab some glass here I think we'll probably end up using white glass but uh, the hoppers will be here which means that that's going to be water so this will end up being glass so you can at least see see the items flowing behind it and that means that this would be glass two and then it would have to be glass underneath like there oh i don't like these these are in the way we'll figure out a better way to light light stuff in here later yeah, I kind of like the asymmetrical. You have to come in and you see something cool happening. Um, unless we could put it in the floor. Oh, no, we can't. Because there's a stairwell. So it has to be... Is that far enough over? Let's see here. Where is that water stream? That is at Y... 263 for X. How does that land me out here? Yeah, that should be behind the wall. I don't think it's going to be a problem. If it is, then we can always deal with it. Okay, so that would mean more glass here. There would be glass, this would be glass, like that. Yeah, I think that looks okay. And then we can do any kind of disposal system on the side there. Yeah, I if you can remember where you put stuff in chests, then it's really not that big of a deal. Okay, so I think I like the idea of having these um, these sort of this way. However, I just realized that there has to be this has to be one higher because of the way that the sorting system works. Unless we want to lose these top chests. Because these could be these are gonna have if we wanted the water to be at this height, these would have to be hoppers. These would have to be like the filter hoppers would have to be at that height. I do like the idea of having the water stream low. Hmm. Then we've got six chests of string and like two chests of eyes. Or a chest of eyes and a chest of wool. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's try that. So let's just put some temp blocks up over these chests. I need my red
redstone here. So all of these would be the hoppers. That and then do do do. That makes sense. And then for the wool, I guess we could use white wool. I kind of want to make it look a little bit cleaner. Do I have any gray wool? Don't. I could. I've got regular wool. Because if it's gray wool, then you really can't see it very much, which is good. I guess I could always just make it out of stone brick, too. Yeah, let's do that. So this is this is uh, Impulse SV's um, filter design, and it's really straightforward. Hey, Panda Flinger, thanks for the follow. Also, fantastic name. <laughs> That's wicked, Panda Flinger. <laughs> Very, very cool. Uh, comparators, redstone, redstone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, again, I've got a bit of a, a bit of a cold. So if I'm a little bit craggy, I apologize. Uh, so let's just dig this out because we're going to need some room. And I don't think, I don't think we'll have to go lower. I think we should be fine for that. So if this is the filter, then this row here is what needs the comparator. And that means that this row here is the torch. So this is going to be a little bit tricky. I think I'm going to have to dig myself down a little bit here. Probably going to fill that in. So these are going to lock this hopper. So if I try to put something in that hopper, nothing should happen. Awesome. Uh, and then we have to build this out by two. Yeah. Oh, I should wait. I should put the comparators, sorry, the repeaters in first. I think that's the only thing you get from spiders, right? It's just spider eyes and string. Um, what am I looking for here? Bricks. And then we just need a few more bricks. And that will be for these blocks. And then we just need the comparators, which I will have to get up here. What am I doing? Oh, there we go. And let's make this something that we can walk across. Oh, I didn't bring the comparators. <clears throat> Uh, maybe poison. Yeah, if you're not good at it, you definitely get poison from them, that's for sure. I really dislike fighting cave spiders. I find them a real problem. So, oh, can I not? Oh, there we go. Excellent. So, and can I place this one? Oh, I knew it was going to go the wrong way. Oh, no. Let's do that and... Probably just get rid of this and do it this way. Sweet. Actually, we can probably just, just in case we have to fix anything, might as well just clear this all out. This is a little bit more headroom. And then we can just lay in the redstone. 25 may not be enough. Oh, good. 
So that should take care of that. I can fill this in now. And then for, hmm, what is something that is an item that is just never going to be in that water stream? You can probably just use like netherrack or something. That would be, make the most sense. Um, netherrack, here we go. Do I have string? I'm gonna have to go get string. It's gonna be a long trip. Um, hmm. Well, we might as well do that now, I guess, because we've got to get, got to write down the coordinates of the string farm anyway. Plus, I wouldn't mind getting a little bit of a refresher on the design that I made in, in the farm. <clears throat> So this is the main mine. I think I talked about this in, in one of my YouTube episodes. And the spider farm is about halfway down. There's a corridor right here. And we've got it all black and blue and red because those are the colors of the spiders. Or rather their face. But it is a long walk. Uh, especially if you have to go back to get stuff. So this should be off by default. Let ourselves in here. Oops. Gonna be quick. Um, but there's a hopper system under there and it takes everything over to this storage system that we've got in the back. So everything from the farm. Yeah, it's, it's blocked off. But everything from the farm comes straight out this way and goes into these chests. And as you can see, we've had to add like another lower chest for just all the eyeballs. And like, we don't need all of this stuff, obviously. Um, oh, I didn't clear my inventory. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I've got a enter chest here. I can probably put some stuff in. Oh, maybe not there. Must be upstairs. Ah, there we go. I might even have some string in here that I could pilfer. What's this? Wool. Okay. So, uh, well, let's grab this. Oh, hmm. I'm gonna do. Do I have enough room in this? Ah, there we go. That's what we'll do. So I only need one stack of eyeballs. Like that. And then I need three stacks of string. I'm gonna take five, just to be sure. And at this point, we have to figure out like where, where we're gonna dig the waterway. Like where do we want the water to come out? Uh, because from these hoppers, it's gonna have to go into a water stream. And I could take it underneath these stairs, although I kind of like the idea of having it be visible, like having it go like through the wall here somewhere. This goes up into the mine shaft. So I guess outside, it's about where we want it to go, but it would have to be, let's see, if we put it here, this would probably be it. Like that would be the water stream. So that is at, two thirty-five. So 
So I'm just wondering where that actually ends up outside. Because there's a ravine out here, and then there's the hallway that we just came down. So there's the stairs to the spider farm, and then there's another mine here. But 235 is like here. So that would take us straight across here. A few obstacles, but nothing crazy. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that's doable. We might have to remove some of this water and stuff, but we could cover that up. And then that would just go straight through. It's down this way. Yeah, it's a very dark tunnel. It's very dark in here in general. Oh, speaking of. Uh, 2.35. Oh, wow. 233. If I take it down 233, then I don't have to dig a tunnel. <laughs> the tunnel's already dug. I could just take it down here and shoot them through this tunnel. Oh, that would make this so much easier rather than digging that whole way. What's 233 look like? That puts it in the middle of the hallway in here. I mean, we can always take it around the bend. It's not a big deal. But so 232, 233 is right here. So that takes it on this, on this stair. We could have it go underneath the stair. That's fine. Interesting. All right, we can cross that bridge when it comes to it, but let's see where, let's make sure I grabbed all the things I needed before we take off again. Shulker boxes have been picked up. I don't think I left anything in or near the ender chest. No, I just wanna, I haven't decided if I wanna decorate that room like this, which might be an idea another brick and redstone and red glass etc and gray concrete that's the other thing so we could decorate it like this but we may not so if we go back out into yeah you always have to check underground i agree uh, but if we go back out here, so 235 is where we thought we were going to do it. Is there a 235? 227, 230, 233, no 235. So that's obviously the first, the first mine. What's over here? It's a big old pit. Not sure what was in there. So let's go down this 233. See what we can see. Oh, no. Got my hopes up for a second. Oh, there is a 235. It's 236. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, six one half dozen any other, I guess. This doesn't go the whole way. This just ends there. Oh, wow. Okay, so this isn't the first. Yikes. This is a crazy, crazy deep mine shaft. We've been busy. 233 was where I wanted to go. So let's see where this takes us. You know, I haven't messed around with spectator mode. Um, really not used to it. Oh, okay, wow. So we'd still have to turn them and take them in that direction somewhere. And what did I say it was two, it was on the X, it was 263. So around here is where they'd have to start turning to go the other way. We're on Y equals 11. So we could technically have them go in the floor and it would not be a big deal. But I, there's nothing left in this mine shaft. Like we can totally just shut this mine shaft down and have it be the waterway. But then it has to cut across all of these and I don't necessarily want to block access to that. Hmm. 
Yeah, I guess at this point we'd we'd want to have them have the items turn a corner and they would drop down to go underneath all of this stuff before they would head back up uh, the item elevator. Oh, looks like some of this is already dug out. 263. Yeah. Okay. That's doable. It's doable, doable. So we are at 11. So I'd have to dig that, dig the elevator down to 11 and go from there. Yeah, if you're just using it for building and you don't want to mess things out, mess, mess things up. I was watching an old uh, Etho episode and he was using spectator mode to check uh, the lighting of caves. I might do that in the swamp. Because I've gone through the legwork of lighting up a lot of the caves, but it's now just a point where it's just confusing and it's really hard to find the ones you haven't lit up. And it's just, it's just a giant time sink. So I may actually change that. All right, so the way that this works is if we put some nether rack. Okay, let's just empty the inventory a little bit here. And we'll put down that shulker. And I don't need glass. And I guess a lot of this is just stone that I picked up from digging. But to make the filter, if we just grab the nether rack, then if we fill this up and then put string, then this should drop to 42. And then it should stop, or 41. 41, so it stops at 41. And all of those have been put into that. So now, whenever you put anything in here, it'll always just pull an extra string and they get filtered out. Hey, Jake is back. Welcome back, Jake. So as the water is cursing, uh, coursing, coursing, as the water is coursing across the top of these hoppers, each one of these is going to have a string filter so five of something that you'd never have in there it helps if you name these items but i really don't care to bother right now so that should have 41 grab the excess this should have 41 grab the excess and then we do the same thing on this one except for instead of string we put in the spider eyes and this will filter all of the spider eyes into this top chest. I can't imagine we will ever need more than a chest full of spider eyes at one time. Now down below, we're going to actually put wool. And I'm just going to craft some wool here real quick. I thought it was... Oh, maybe it's four string. Ah, it's only four. Okay. So that will be the wool chest. And then this will be spider eyes, and then the rest of this is all going to be string. I guess I don't need my F3 screen on anymore. It just destroys my game, spending time on getting my bearings. Yeah, it, it's hard when you're getting a little bit disoriented. And it, when, when the, the fun starts to be sucked out of being like strictly vanilla Minecraft, then that's when I say do whatever you want. You know, if it saves you hours of getting lost to do spectator mode for two seconds just to kind of figure out where you are then i say go for it uh yeah so we've got the filters in uh after this though after this last filter we have to then wrap this around and send this over this way to what's going to be garbage So I'm thinking I'm going to line this up with this just to be symmetrical for fun. Put a light in here so we don't get any visitors. Um, so water stream is going to go 
here, there, and this is where I'm going to need more glass. Although I don't know if I'm going to be using this color glass. What do you think? Should we do this in red glass and decorate it to match the system or should we just do whatever? So this will be the end of the water stream and then they will drop into probably a dropper that will just fire them into a cactus or something. Um, how much room do I have out this side here? Well, a little bit, not much. So at this point, I'm gonna say this is probably gonna be glass two. Let's move these. We could just have the excess just kind of sit around until it despawns, but don't know. Not sure how long that's gonna take. So let's just do like a, I don't want it to be too problematic because if, it, if you end up dropping something in there that you don't want in there, then having all of your items being immediately destroyed is bad. But I'd like to have maybe a dropper and that we can point probably down, I guess. So if we put the dropper there, facing down, oops, I'm stuck. Then we can place a hopper on top of it. Oh, I already had one. And then we could do the redstone uh, either along the side or out the back, depending on what we wanted to do. But then this would shoot things onto a cactus or just have it despawn. <laughs> I get lost in real life enough. <laughs> nice. Maps in Minecraft are not intuitive. I agree. I wish they were better. I'd love a better mapping system in Minecraft. I would love the option for a mini map without having to do mods. I think I got some smooths down here. This is all just kind of temporary. Oops. All right, so if we get rid of this, then this will be where the items come in. They go around, they get filtered, and then they come out and they go down into this. So the real question, I guess, is what do we want to do for the glass color? Before I put the water in, do we want to leave the glass clear? Hmm. Because we have lots of different dyes and lots of different colors of glass. I think maybe keeping it with the theme of the mine shaft because it's up this end i feel like keeping this log look might be better so i don't want to do brown glass because that's kind of bleh. we could do white glass i've done a lot of white glass though with the um whatchamacallit the greenhouse build It looks very strange around the corners. What looks strange here? The the connected glass texture? Oh yeah, I see what you mean. Uh, that will change when there's water in there. You'll, you're able to see, see things a lot better that way. Uh, what? Well, let's see, let, let's go back to, I'll have to grab some glass anyway, or at the very least some dye. So let's grab the glass shulker and go back over to the barn and see what colors we might want to want to try. I want it to be a light color, maybe light blue or light gray. Something that would go well with the color. Oh, that's a deep growl. 
Actually, you know what? Let's sleep. <laughs>